sometimes the best sport is on your doorstep. Steve and I live just a few minutes drive from each other and behind his butcher shop is some ground which often produces plenty of possibilities. Well these are really old um, oak trees, line of oak trees and the jackdaws are starting to nest inside them and around them and everything else so there's a lot of activity, they're flitting from one tree to the next here, there and everywhere so it's just a case of finding a nice little spot and sitting down and being just patient. being patient and um, we should be able to knock a few off. We can still hear a few up in the trees here and I can hear a couple of crows as well so there should be plenty and there's some wood pigeons. Yeah. Pretty much a mixed bag today. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're both using air rifles today. Steve has a sub 12 foot pound Daystate Huntsman and I've got a 30 foot pound Daystate Mark IV IS which means I can be confident in having a stab at a squirrel which crosses our path. So Steve's just seen a, uh, a squirrel in that tree over there. <clears throat> now it's roughly about 25, 26 yards. Um, but I'm shooting a Daystate Mark IV IS and it's a 30 foot pound version. So it's a pretty straight shot from the muzzle right out to about 35, 40 yards before it starts to drop off. So ranges when you're shooting an FAC air rifle aren't as critical as a sub 12 foot pound one, such as the one that Steve's shooting here. So. I'm at a bit of an advantage. With the squirrel keeping a low profile, we turn our attention to the bigger parcel of woodland. Wood pigeon and crows are possible targets. We settle down and wait for the birds to return to nests or just stop for a breather. Even with their fantastic eyesight, I'm hoping we'll be invisible tucked in next to the tree. We spend a good hour preparing to hijack any unsuspecting crows, but my best opportunity appears as we head back to the car. The wood pigeon is a fair old distance away. I kneel for the shot. Watch that. 60 odd yards, but that's a difference shooting a 30 foot pound gun to shooting a 12 foot pound gun. You just got that little bit extra range. He didn't know it hit him. With something to show for our patients, we head off to some new ground where we hope to go rabbiting with a night sight later on. The Klondike is a place dedicated to keeping all things steam powered alive. The trouble is, the rabbits are undermining the foundations under some of these heavy bits of machinery. There's plenty of rabbits around here. Now, as you can see, they've put down a lot of stone here to support the heavy weight of these engines. And the rabbits are burrowing underneath the edges. Uh, which means that where they store them is starting to break away. So we're going to come around now, see if there's any out, uh, but see where most damage and most sign is. And then we'll come back a little bit later on tonight when they come out at dusk and see if we can pick a few off for them. We've been instructed that we're going to leave them here so they can have them for the pot as well. Nothing so bold enough to show itself in daylight, so we're going to have to wait until we lose the light. We promise the engineers we'll leave them what we shoot, and in the meantime, we keep things close to home and have a look around Steve's back garden. Another one bites the dust. We managed to bag another couple of birds and give some a scare. Darkness brings with it a whole range of possibilities, especially with a night sight. We can now return to the Klondike and see what's about. So we had a, a pretty good show out at, uh, at Last Knockings and shot four birds as they came into roost. One, two, three that we, that we got that I shot and then one that's kind of still flapping around that Steve's got. Um, so now we've come back to the Klondike uh, where we showed you a little bit earlier on. I'm going to nip down and see if we can knock some of those rabbits over that have been undermining the edge of the parking areas. A scan around the main site shows up nothing in between the bits of cherished machinery. What we need to see is what's next to the bank. Thankfully there are eyes everywhere. There's even a meandering hedgehog. I line up the crosshairs and the Daystate knocks down a rabbit or two, which we hope will keep the guys here happy. Good size rabbit. Right then, I've done my job. 
your turn to do yours. What? Well, I shot it. You can dress it out. We promised we'd leave one for the pot. Same old story. But he's a professional, and it means there's a good chance we'll be invited back. For more information about the Daystate Huntsman and Daystate Mark IV IS air rifles, visit daystate.com.